All right, Professor Klein here to bring you a video on the hand and wrist ligament model. Let's begin. Okay, I'll give you a 360 of this model and we got some bones on here and some ligaments on here. I'm not gonna mention every single ligament, but I'll mention a ton of them. Well, first off, let's do the bones. This would be the radius, which is in line with the thumb. It's more lateral. And this would be the ulna. Those are forearm bones. And you can see how the radius is wider. Well, technically, only the radius articulates with the hand bones. So this is going into here, but over here, this is just kind of hanging on and there's a bunch of ligaments in between. So the ulna is not technically part of the wrist. Well, in here, tough to see all of them, but these would be the carpal bones. Let me bring in a hand model so you can see those better. All right, so we have the hand bones right here and look at all these small bones in this area. These would be considered the carpals. So we can see bones like the capitate and the hamate, triquetrum, pisiform, lunate, scaphoid, trapezium, and trapezoid all in this area. So imagine those right in here and you can kind of see the hook of hamate right here and the pisiform pop out and a little bit of the trapezium as well. Those are the three that have little extra bumps. See the bump here in the trapezium. You can see the hook of hamate, which is a bony landmark on the hamate. And then the pisiform bone pops up here like a P-shaped bone. Well, what about these other bones? These are called metacarpals. And it's numbered, thumb is one, index is two, middle finger is three, ring finger is four, and pinky finger is five. So one through five. And these metacarpals are in between the carpals and the phalanges, which are these bones out here. Now every finger has a proximal phalange, which is this first part here, and distal phalanges, which is this part. However, only digits two through five have an extra bone called the middle phalange as shown here. Thumb does not. It only has a proximal and a distal phalange. And those are all the bones. And you can see ligaments are bone to bone connections. So what are the joints we're working with? Well, right here, we have the MCP joint, the metacarpal phalangeal joint, a joint formed between the metacarpals and the proximal phalanges. Then for digits two through five, we have a proximal interphalange joint, which is shown here as the joint in between the proximal phalange and the middle phalanges at each one. And then also a DIP or dip joint, which stands for the distal interphalangeal joint, which is in between the middle phalange and the distal phalange of each of these. The thumb is different though. It just has an IP or IP joint, which stands for interphalangeal joint, which is in between the proximal phalange and the distal phalange of the thumb. So now that you have the joints down and they're the same on the front and on the back, on the back is probably a better view of the actual joint or the bones coming together. Always a little bit of space in between bones, but you can see where they come together here with all these joints. So what are the ligaments? Well, if we start down here, there's a ligament called the triangular ligament, which is deep in there in between the ulna and the carpals, triangular ligament. On the side, there's the distal ulnar collateral ligament, going from here to here, and the distal radial collateral ligament going from here to here. I did also want to mention this down here. This is the interosseous membrane, which is a membrane which is very similar to a ligament that is in between the radius and the ulna. 
If we look at it over here, it would be actually traveling all the way up and down this inner part in between those two forearm. But some other joints to mention that we won't cover too much are the CMC joints, the joints formed between the carpals and the metacarpals. Stands for carpo metacarpal joint or CMC. But those are kind of way down in here. We'll focus on MCP, PIP, DIP, and IP over here. I also abbreviate those PIP, DIP, and IP as a way to remember those. Then a bunch of other ones in here that we don't cover in this course, but then we pop up here. And certainly these are showing the joint capsule covering each joint. But take a look at the side. See how there's some fibers that are running vertically at each level? Here's a really good look at it here. If I zoom in, there you go. You can see the vertical fibers. Well, those are called collateral ligaments. Collateral ligaments because they're on the sides of each of the joints. And let's name those because when you look at the hand, yes, the middle finger is the midline, but the way we describe medial and lateral is a little bit different than maybe what you would think. The side of the finger, if you think each finger has two sides, two sides here, well, this side would be the medial side. And I'll do it for each finger here. Medial, 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 and medial. It's the side kind of facing this way, or facing the pinky, or closer to the pinky. That would be the medial side versus the lateral side. Let me do lateral, 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 and way out here, lateral side, the side of the finger facing the thumb or closer to the thumb. So a little bit different than how we name some of those things in other places in the body, but how about these ligaments? Well, this one here, anything on the lateral side would be the lateral collateral ligaments. And you can see it at the MCP joint, the PIP and the DIP, as well as the IP joint be way over here. There it is. And then on the other side, you would have the medial collateral ligament. Let me show you a few of those. Medial collateral ligament, MCL as a nickname or abbreviation for this one, but at each joint. So if you're in my course and I ask you to name one of these ligaments, like let's say this one right here, you have to tell me that this is a medial collateral ligament of the proximal interphalangeal joint of the second digit of the right hand. This model is of a right hand, so guaranteed it's the right hand. But how about this one? This one is the lateral collateral ligament of the distal interphalangeal joint of the third digit of the right hand. Let's keep going. Give you a few more. Let's do this guy right here. This would be the medial collateral ligament of the metacarpal phalangeal joint of the fifth digit of the right hand. And let me give you one more, as I think you're probably picking up what this pattern is. Let's go right here. This would be the lateral collateral ligament of the interphalangeal joint of the first digit of the right hand. Comment any questions you guys have on this model, but that pretty much covers the finger and wrist ligaments of this model.
Thanks for watching.